I am still obviously in the process of moving and my house is a wreck, but I have my new sketchbook. Um, I'm recording this after I've already done some stuff in it, but look how pretty KVW. And it's the Monster sketchbook. Come with me as we start a new sketchbook, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> okay, so I know that this can come out of here, but I don't want to take it out. I want this pretty cover. But I know that, so basically it's a regular plain book binded book. And it's placed inside this cover, but it can come out. But I don't want to try and yank it out. So I have all my stickers and stuff like that from different artists. I want to decorate the cover. I think I'm going to just decorate this page. Hello, it is me in the future. It is March 9th, but y'all won't see this for a very long time. By the time this video comes out, I will already be in Boston. I can't believe it. I am moving so soon, and when this video comes out, I will be across country in my new apartment, hopefully have my entire art studio unpacked, and then I can get to recording there. I'm trying to just film ahead so I can keep uploading weekly and everything because I really enjoy it and I don't want to take this big like hiatus. So anyway, let's talk about the first page. I decided to do like a little title page since I didn't want the pressure of doing this amazing front page piece. I was like, you know what? Let me just do KVW sketchbook too. Since this is, I mean, I've technically had a million other sketchbooks before but this is technically the only the second one that I've recorded and only the the one that you saw recently the ELO sketchbook that was the first sketchbook I've ever completely finished so this is technically my sketchbook too I am and I make my own rules this this is my second sketchbook so anyway this is a little cicada and I decided to do the cicada since they kind of represent change and I'm moving right after I start the sketchbook. So I was like, you know what? The cicada makes perfect sense since I'm basically changing my entire life in a matter of a week, which is insane. But after I finished that, I was like, you know, I really want to do a full spread and I wanted the full spread to look nice, but it didn't have to be perfect. So I saw this picture of like this octopus and I started to just sketch that in. I was at my grandma's house when I was filming this, which is why you're getting all the good angles because I didn't have a tripod to just hold it over top. But I saw the octopus and I really wanted to do it because I've never, I've done an octopus before, but it wasn't this detailed or anything. And I've always struggled with the curve of the tentacles. So I just really wanted to try it. Also, you will see the finished sticker piece later and you'll see like all the different stickers I added. So the first page I did all stickers and then the first like actual sketchbook page I did the cicada which I feel like earlier I called it a locust but we're gonna ignore that. And so anyway, I was doing this and I realized I like my ELO sketchbook more when it comes to colored pencils just because this is more um, cold pressed paper and ELO is like super smooth paper. It has to be like extreme hot press because there is no texture on that paper. But I like mixed media and gouache on it more in the Mossery sketchbook. So pros and cons, if you're more of a colored pencil artist, go with ELO and if you're more of a gouache mixed media paint artist do moss read the pages are so thick and so nice and you saw how much like the marker bled, bled through but it didn't go to the second page it just went to the back of that page so that's really not that bad I mean all of them bleed through a little bit so I'm happy with this paper quality and I honestly have always liked textured paper more but I have been getting into colored pencils lately so it's slightly frustrating having to like literally gouge into the paper to get a smooth colored pencil coat. But at the same time, it's not like prohibiting my art. I don't think it's 
more difficult to blend evenly, but it's really not that bad. I think in my other sketchbook it was easier and better to blend, but this one's really not bad. So honestly, it's a great sketchbook so far. And I love that the pages lay flat also. <laughs> now that I have a smaller sketchbook, I have like a little backdrop and when I take pictures of my sketchbook for Instagram, they look so much nicer and put together, which I know is kind of dumb and like kind of irrelevant, <laughs> but it makes me so happy to have like a nice looking feed that I'm gonna, like I'm gonna have a nice feed. So yeah, here's the sticker page, the front page, and then the octopus, which I'm not done yet. This is just kind of the first things I did. And then I decided to go in with some Hemi jelly gouache because I love my jelly gouache and I'm hoping it survives this move. And I just went through and I have no idea what fish this is. I want to say it's a little sardine, sardine, but I'm not sure. And then I added colors in it that like just randomly, just because I wanted to add some more color to it rather than gray. So it's like uh, my version of a sardine, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not that inventive. It's just, it came from a fish reference and I added a little bit of blue in the shadows and peach in the highlight. So that's really it. It's not anything crazy. But yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with the eye because I wanted to do only a bigger brush because I usually go too crazy on details and I wanted to kind of slim down on the details a little bit. So the eye I had a little bit of trouble with but it came through in the end. I just didn't want to get crazy trying to add in every fish scale because I have done that before and it turned out looking horrible. I found that sometimes as in with birds and fish less is more unless you're an extreme professional realist less is usually more. So then I went in and I did this eel and I did not think I would be able to get the face right, but I got the face right, which is so oh, satisfying. Which obviously eels, they kind of terrify me a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit scared of the ocean. By a little bit, I mean mostly a lot. I'm scared of everything in the ocean, sharks, fish. Like I was at the beach once and something touched my foot, so I, jumped and cleared my stepdad's head trying to get on his shoulders but I accidentally jumped clear over his head because of how scared I was that a fish touched my foot and his hat shrunk but now it became my hat so I don't know that was irrelevant but it made me think of that just because I am kind of terrified of the ocean and everything in it um yeah I don't know if at this age I could really go in the ocean like I would as a kid it was kind of ignorance is bliss type thing and now I know too much and am scared of sharks, especially. And I'm really scared of sharks. I know that if you go in the, in the beach, there's sharks. And if you go in the lake, there's like snakes. And if you go in the swamp, there's like sh alligators. And I just, it really freaks me out, okay? And all those animals scare the heck out of me. So I have a fascination and a respect for the ocean, but I am equally terrified. <laughs> anyway, here's the finished page after that weird rant. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a nice day. I love my little ink crab and the little bubbles and the colors. Yeah, so anyway, thank you.